Oh my god, dude. I think I just caught a six pounder. Alrighty. Good morning, guys. Day one of NYKBF State Championships. And like every NYKBF derb this year, it's freaking windy. So here's what happened. It was beautiful, the whole forecast. So it was gonna be hot, sunny, low winds. And then the tournament directors went on their live stream and said, it's beautiful, the weather's gonna be great. And you guys know, as fishermen, what happens when you say the weather's gonna be great. If you jinx it, you're screwed. <laughs> it is windy, but we are going to try and make do. So as I was saying, my GoPro decided to start the morning off by dying. Thermal directors drinks it. It's freaking blowing again. But we're gonna try to make do. We found some good small mouth. We found some good large mouth. It's just not fast and furious. We're gonna have to work for our bites and hope for one at a time. And you guys know what I say every freaking time. A broken record. It's one cast at a time, hopefully one bite at a time, and hopefully one freaking fish at a time. We're gonna do that today, 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. We're gonna work our freaking tail off. We're gonna take the, uh, the chances that we can, try to make the most of them. State Championships is a two-day event, so we got day one today. The next video will be day two, but we're competing for Angler of the Year. We just won Angler of the Year over on the Cyanation Trail here in New York, and I'd love to go to uh, to double up on Angler of the Year. We won Angler of the Year here in NIKBF the past two years. We'd love to go for a three-peat, and the only person that can beat me from a number standpoint is one of my best friends, uh, who you guys will see split-screened with me today. He's rocking the GoPro. You guys have liked that in the past tournaments, and uh, who better to duke it out for Angler of the Year than my best pal? So. Uh, it should be fun. I'm excited for it. Just need to uh, go slow and take my time here in the dark. We're going to be in the dark for about like 45 minutes. So you guys aren't going to be able to see much at all. I'll try to give updates as I can, but uh, we're going to have to go slow, hug the bank, try to get to where we're trying to go to get out of the wind. So first number one, we'll see if it pays off. We'll see you guys when we launch. Well, you won't actually see me. It'll be dark, but we'll see you when it, I guess it gets light. Go time. I am hoping I can get to where I need to go. Almost out there. Almost launch time. We'll go slow and take our time because we got like two miles to go. The wind is not going to be our best friend today. All right, 5:30. Let's go get it. Well, I wish you the best, Tommy. Yeah. How long we got? We can't have too long, huh? We got, it's 5.54. 5.54? Yes, sir. 5.55. Hey. We got five minutes. Yeah, we shall see. But we got two minutes, buddy. Good luck. Yeah, you too. But gotcha. not too good. <laughs> Catch him up, Don't man. Don't live and die. I would be sad. <laughs> Catch him up, buddy. Yeah. See ya. Well, we are 30 minutes or so into the tournament. And basically I told myself the first hour until the sun's up and there's decent light is gonna be a bonus fish because we're going after mostly smallmouth. We have another spot we might actually take out and move later today that I can go catch a largemouth as well, but I knew I'd likely have this to myself and at least where I thought there was more quantity of fish. So basically we're going for some smallmouth out deep. So we're trying to just get a bonus largemouth. I came here in practice. That's good. I came here in practice. Freaking seagull, man. I uh, caught a five pound largemouth doing what I'm doing right now. Actually, it was with a chatterbait, but the area and fishing where we're fishing. So I'm hoping just for one bonus big bite here this morning. Shoot, I'll take a. And beggars not can't be choosers right now. I'll, I'll take any bass bite right here. Just start the day off, little bonus catch. All right, we're just basically looking for the dream here is one big bite. Just kick start the day. Doing this that way we can go chase small meowth for the rest of the day. But we'll see. We'll see how she goes. Well, boys and girls, welcome. Is Bailey gonna bleep that out? I don't know, maybe. But let me tell you what's going on. 
We started way too dead gum early. It's been almost an hour. I ain't really fished a whole lot. And the fishing I have done has not been productive. So we fixing to just do kayak things. Bailey's got a, a good set plan. He's practiced for three or four days. He's got a lot of history out here. He knows what's going on. I come out last week to practice one day. Covered about 10 miles. Didn't catch nothing, didn't see nothing worth a dang. So we are gonna just, you know, see where the day takes us and just do kayak things. Doing my typical thing. No graph, no plan. Just gonna show up and try to do the deed. So, and for those of you that don't know, me and Bailey are one and two in AOI. Bailey's number one. And the only possible way for me to catch him is if I win, get second place, and he finishes third or lower. So I'd really like to catch him if I can. So we're gonna try our best. Don't mind the crotch shot right now. Well, there's one boys and girls, but I'm pretty sure it's one I'm gonna have to get rid of. I We'll gladly take it. Get things. He ain't gonna help us, but it's a start. Help us get a lemon. Number three, another small one, probably another 12 and a half, but hey. Angry little fella. All right, we are headed out to go chase some smallmouth. We're making a move. We try to get after some largemouth in the grass down on a top water, chatterbait and flipping it, but nothing in the first hour. So we're gonna go make the move to Smallmouth and see if they're willing to play and go from there. Let's get it. Seventeen, maybe. That fat, it's only seventeen. That's crazy. All right, seventeen and a half. Let me check the photo. Real quick, mouth closed. Seventeen and a half. Code. Sweet. Thank you, Mama. Keep going. It's fish number one. Finally came around to play. It was like a three and a half pound fish. It was fat as hell. <sighs> a bunch of my fish left me because of this thing wind, I think. So we're just gonna literally, I think, float down to a whole nother ramp. <laughs> Have one of our buddies pick us up or bring us back to our truck anyway. Versus try to get back in this wind. I don't I don't know if that's the smartest of ideas, but so we have other, other stuff that we can hit along the way. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's see. Right. 
being super sluggish. Oh my god, dude. I think I just caught a six pounder. That's a freaking monster. Holy god. We needed that. Oh. Guys, we gotta put a weight on that thing. I'm shaking. Holy mother of god. That's a freaking giant. Oh. I wonder if that's gonna go seven. 21. Let's put her back in the net. Oh, 615. Holy smokes. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Keep going. Hell yeah, dude. Almost a freaking seven pound small boat, dude. Ooh. One bite at a time, come on. Freaking 615. We beat our PB by an ounce. While the fishing started out hot, Mother Nature had some other plans. I decided to start sending that wind right down the pipe, which Boris started to get a glimpse of as well. Our limit. Each is a small limit, but it's a limit. Booyah! Five. Oh, 
Well, we are stuck in like three footers right now, rolling with them, going far away from our ramp. Uh, basically, because I don't think I can get back. And so we're uh, called one of my buddies and he's willing to drive me back to my truck later today at the end of the tournament. But there's a ramp like five, six miles up here that uh, I'm gonna have to end my day at. And I'm just getting blown off. It's hard to fish and be efficient and also worry about steering and not flipping. So we're gonna try to run and get out of this a little bit. That wind definitely lied about its speed as usual. But also this lake, anything north-south, and it's absolutely gassing. So we're going to play it safe. Definitely don't want to leave that area, but I needed to in order to try to be safe. There's only so much you can risk. So we're going to try to head back, and we have some stuff up there we can go try to use to go catch our next fish. So we're sitting on two fish, but they're good ones. Need to keep cranking. We got number three, if we can get a picture of it. It is rolling. Right, we'll deal with that after. Another good one. Mouth closed. 19. Identifier. Here we go, 19 incher. Heck yeah. It's like a freaking five pounder. Thank you, bub. Sweet. We need to get this air rig out and go back over there because there was more fish. I think I actually had two to start. I'm fairly positive I had two. because so it got super, super heavy and then felt like I lost it for a second and that one was still on, so. Just keep rolling. Keep grinding. Together a freaking bag, dudes. Just need to get him on the board and then we'll have four fish. Mouth closed. 18 and a half. In the fire. Thank you, bud. Freaking big old pig. <laughs> Heck yeah. Thank you, baby. Alright. Just need one more. You submit these while we're in the rowdiness and just in case. 
Well, I caught my first three fish flipping some grass that I feel like I can go back and hit later in the day. And now I'm sitting on a current driven bridge catching them on a drop shot. Could probably throw a jig or a spinner bait or several other things. I would imagine moving chatterbait, something like that. Hell, even maybe a crankbait right here. Looks a little rocky, but sometimes you just gotta fish your confidence. My confidence is this drop shot. So. There's a call. GoPro's dead, but that's five. That's five good ones, and there was more down there. I'm leaving that alone. All right guys, we are headed to some different spots, try some different stuff. We gotta get rid of a 17, or at least I'd like to. If we can just get one more big one, I probably honestly will stop fishing for the day. We'll go try some weird stuff, if I can call that 17. We're at 94 and a half, and last I checked, we were in the lead. So let's, so let's double check real quick. Next. Standings, we're in first by about Four inches or so. Not bad. Gotta keep going. Must be, a, must be a good spot. Oh, I tell you, I like coming out here in the spring. That's all I catch is them damn jackfish. I, it, they interrupt my perch fishing, and I don't get. I'm not happy about that. Go, oh, get back here. Yep. Yeah, he was on the 
outside of it there. I don't think he's gonna help me none though. I'm fixing to see. Yeah, and the way, well the way we do our tournaments is we, we measure them and we take and we take a picture of them and submit them to a an app on our phone. Yeah, not gonna help. It's the highest I've ever seen a largemouth jump, but that's a freaking cold fish right there. That's what that is. On the freaking jig, baby. All right. Now we're definitely done for the day. God damn. Might be another 19, maybe? It's got to be the 1775, which it's definitely going to. All right, bub. God damn, you're thick. Sweet. It's another 19. Thank you, bud. <laughs> Thank you, Bubba. Right, let's see if that goes. It should get me back in first, I think. See. Uh -huh. And that managed catch. Let's see where we're at now. We got 96 and a quarter. We're back in first. Come on with it. Alright, we're gonna leave that spot alone. <laughs> There's definitely some big ones on that. Holy smokes. We're leaving that puppy alone. We are leaving. Caught that on the, the old jig. The old jig. That 7 1 heavy Fenwick Elite. I think bad of the bone. Freaking love this rod. Let's go fish one in the community hole and hope for another freaking giant. But otherwise, I mean, I have no reason to, to call anymore. All right, guys, we got like 20 minutes left. I don't want to go hit any of my stuff. So we're kind of just putzing around right now. Just, I guess, living on a prayer for another giant bite. Another random 20. We're going to go fish these docks, and it's probably the last stuff we'll hit today. And then uh, my buddy Brandon is giving me a ride back to my ramp. <laughs> we went away today, and partly because of weather, but I think it was actually a good game plan in the end. I'm glad I did. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow tell you what because my fish actually left me this morning they weren't where they're supposed to be the conditions are completely the same so i don't know if i want to even try to go back again granted i have that spot where that big one is at and there was a couple more there but i don't know if i want to rely on that whereas where i got a couple of bites good bites more towards this ramp and i have a few more things i can do here near this area I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. We got 19 minutes though. See if we can at least catch a bass, just have some fun. Great start for day one though. I'm I'm happy with that. Even if I don't end up on top at the end of today, I'm happy where we're at with 96 inches going into day two. Let's go giant hunting all day tomorrow. A good one. Fun.
Thank you, bud. Appreciate you playing. Full cinco on a back. Well, boys and girls, day one, not the day I wanted. Got 79, 79 and a half inches. It's got me sitting in 15th, middle of the pack. But your boy Bailey is leading this mother fricker on day one. You're welcome, Bailey. I caught myself. It's not looking good for me to kick his rear end, claim AOI, and knock him off his throne. So what needs to happen is he needs to choke City tomorrow, and I need to. He rode the crap out of it, and several more people need to choke, so I can move up the leaderboard, and he can move way down. So, that's the end of day one. We're cutting it out of here, and gonna try, well, we ain't gonna try nothing. We're gonna go have some beers with the boys, and eat some chicken wings. Right, guys we are at the house right now we just got everything all wrapped up we went to dinner the crew we kind of just talked about it all of our days and everything like that and uh went and actually got ice cream and then we chilled got rigged up things like that and uh just finally got some downtime things settled took a shower now we're all ready for day two of nykbf state championship great first day 96 inches sitting at the top right now and uh, I'm just really hoping we can find freaking enough bites to try to hold on for tomorrow. We went through a decent amount of our stuff today. We just have to keep adjusting with them, try to get in front of them. Tomorrow we're gonna make an audible. We're gonna go to a different launch that we actually took out of today. And then uh, we're gonna try to make a run before it gets too windy again. It's supposed to get windy again tomorrow, but broke personal best. I don't know, I'm, I'm happy about it, but I'm not happy about it because it wasn't seven pounds. I, I really want a seven pound smallmouth so bad. But our, our personal best was six pounds, 14 ounces. And that one today, that 21 inch small mouth was six pounds, 15 ounces. So dang close, so dang close. But great day, we executed well on the bites that we got. And you know, we're gonna do the same thing tomorrow. One cast, one bite, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully one fish at a time. So we're gonna do our very best. We're gonna see where the heck we lined up. And you guys will see that on the next video. Appreciate y'all for watching. Like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.